Shares of Microsoft and Walmart are extending their gains in this session on reports that two companies are nearing a deal to acquire social media app TikTok. Oracle also bidding along with ByteDance investors, seeing that stock move higher as well. Let's bring in Dan Halley, who's been tracking all the latest developments on that front. Dan, it was just yesterday we were talking about why Walmart would jump in on a bid with Microsoft. And yet I thought it was interesting. Today we heard from interim CEO Vanessa Pappas on CNBC saying essentially there's a lot of synergy between these companies, especially because TikTok is trying to expand its e-commerce network. Yeah, uh, a lot of synergies. Uh, all right, you know, whatever. Uh, there are some uh, synergies, I guess. Uh, you know, basically, when we were talking about this yesterday, I was saying how uh, TikTok has that younger audience, uh, and Walmart might want that kind of data to know what they should be stocking and uh, be able to bring in some of those younger uh, users. Uh, to their, I guess, you know, flock of Walmarters. Uh, and that's really what it seems as though analysts are looking at as well. Basically saying, look, there's the opportunity here to extend e-commerce for TikTok to Walmart, uh, making sure that people see products within the app itself and then purchase them on walmart.com. Now, there would obviously have to be additional sources uh, for you to purchase items. Maybe there would be deals uh, for Walmart to make their products look more attractive. Uh, but from a revenue standpoint, you certainly would want to have uh, a bunch of different uh, advertisers on there uh, offering some kind of shopping platform. Uh, but I think really Walmart would benefit greatly from this. It's not exactly a cool company, but if they can make themselves look cool via TikTok, then all the more better for them. That also goes for Microsoft. Microsoft isn't known uh, as the cool company. They don't have the iPhone. Uh, they're not used for Gmail. Um, and so I think this is a way for them to get those younger <laughs> users in. But, you know, I think at the end of the day, uh, it really has to do with that e-commerce element. And that's the, that's the synergy. Uh, I don't see, you know, any other real uh, benefit outside of, you know, advertising uh, and the, uh, the ability to purchase uh, uh, goods through TikTok from Walmart. Yeah, and Dan, when you talk about um, what this could mean for revenue for a company like Microsoft, I mean, not even talking about an e-commerce play from Walmart, you look at the cloud side alone, we had this report from Bank of America saying that estimates on monetization of TikTok's user base could generate potential revenues of $630 million for Microsoft in its base case, $6 billion in a bull case. Yeah, that's an incredible gap uh, for you know, that's like me saying, well, I could have nothing or all of the money in the world. So, I mean, it's it's a, a huge gap. But yes, there could be uh, that element that Microsoft could benefit for and Walmart could benefit for uh, from this. It depends on how much uh, TikTok is going to continue to grow. Uh, right now, I think a lot of people who are younger uh, really still want to stick to this app uh, as much as Instagram wants to try to drag them away. Uh, it doesn't seem to be working as well. Reels, the Instagram uh, TikTok knockoff. Uh, was getting very poorly reviewed as it came out. Um, it's basically just a, a complete ripoff of the idea of TikTok. Uh, and I think people want to stick with TikTok for now. Uh, you know, but going forward, this should be uh, something that both Microsoft and, and Walmart benefit from. Oracle, it feels like now that they're uh, not part of this, you know, idea of uh, the major benefits, that they're kind of falling back uh, in the pack. Uh, really, we haven't been discussing them very much. Uh, obviously, there's the ties with the administration, the Trump administration uh, and Oracle and how that could benefit them uh, for the TikTok bid. But I think for now, really, it's looking more like uh, Walmart and Microsoft. And reports suggesting we could get an announcement in the next few days. So we'll be watching closely. Thanks so much for that, Dan Halley.